TV. Today we're joined by Mohamed Somji, co-director of Golf Photo Plus. Good morning. Morning. So kick things off, talk us through your morning routine. Uh, that's an easy one. I, uh, I have to start with my obligatory coffee and my espresso. <laughs> um, it's a good time for me to catch up with the news um, so that uh, I like to kind of decompress before the day gets crazy mm -hmm. and I will um, go online and check uh, Twitter or uh, newspaper sites and mm -hmm. just catch up. Okay. And can you tell us a little bit about Golf Photo Plus and what your role is? There? Sure. So we're um, the Vice Photography Centre. We've been around um, for 15 years, and at least the festival has been around mm -hmm. for 15 years. And um, you know, we, we teach photography um, to all levels. We host uh, exhibitions. We have mm -hmm. artist talks. Um, we also uh, support. We are a resource for photographers, so they can come and do printing with us. They can come and share their work uh, with us and with the wider community. And um, we have photo books and film resources. So really meant to kind of be a, a hub for uh, the photography um, scene here in Dubai okay. and, the, and the wider Middle East. Okay, and what about your role there? What, do you, what exactly do you do? Um, so I curate uh, the exhibitions, I um, you know, uh, try and find uh, interesting workshops or activities that uh, people might like mm -hmm. um, and uh, do everything really. Okay, and what about photography in the region? How do you think it's evolved in, in the time since you first started the company? Um, so I think we've, we, we haven't had the head start um, compared to uh, you know, countries where photography has been very much integral to the art and culture scene. I think um, outside the Gulf there's been a tremendous uh, you know, surge of young photographers mm -hmm. making some, very, some incredible work that is thoughtful, that is um, layered and um, very nuanced in their reporting of uh, you know, very interesting and important stories. In the Gulf, I think we're a little bit behind, and mm -hmm. that's what we're trying to champion. People, um, you know, uh, getting outside of decorative and ornamental photography and being a bit more serious in their approach. And um, that's what we're, um, you know, uh, hoping to uh, help change and improve. Okay. And what would you say makes a good photographer today? A good photographer? Uh, I think somebody who is very good at storytelling. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and, and not just as an observer, but more a participant. I think we you know, all have interesting stories that we are part of. Mm -hmm. And I think telling that to a wider audience and um, you know, going in depth with the, uh, the, the work, both from a, a visual, but also uh, you know, leaving behind um, an impact. So you know, we come across social phenomena all the time. But if you can come up with, if a photographer can tell that story that you know leaves uh, more questions than answers, yeah. um, I think that's a measure of a good photographer who is finding these stories and finding interesting and innovative ways to tell them. Okay, and obviously now the iPhone and smartphones have kind of changed the mm -hmm. photography industry quite drastically. How do you think that's influenced um, photography today? I think the biggest thing is that, you know, I mean, we've been able to make photographs with a number of devices for time immemorial. But I think what's interesting is that they have been a catalyst for um, distribution. So I'm not so, you know, uh, interested in, in the iPhone or the smartphone as a medium, but rather, you know, these social media platforms like Instagram or the web, you know, or the internet in general has allowed, uh, you know, people who didn't have access to be able to share their work, you know, it's given them an incredible platform and with good work, you know, these are images and stories are being noticed. And, um, and yes, to an extent, you know, everybody now has a device that can, you know, capture yeah. photographs. Um, and it's helped improve visual literacy because now people are not just casual consumers of photography, but are actively making their mm -hmm. own photographs. And I think it's widened um, the scope of who is taking the photographs and what's being taken. So I think, you know, uh, I'm all, uh, you know, I'm, I'm excited about the possibilities that that uh, brings about. And what do you look for in emerging talent? I think um, we talked about storytelling and mm -hmm. I think uh, it's very difficult to have a good idea and then to execute it into meaningful work. And um, I think, you know, I'm less interested in how technically good they are, but if they, you know, arrest you by um, having a very uh, strong thread of uh, images and it doesn't have to be just images, it can be a variety of mediums. Um, you know, that's uh, something that I think, uh, 
you know, we, we, we like to champion and we like to um, show as well. So the ability to, to, to tell stories and, um, and, and, you know, find ways to make those stories engaging. Okay. And what would you consider the biggest success to date with GPP? I think we've um, constantly championed um, the idea of, um, you know, using photography to, um, to be a catalyst for change, to be a catalyst for thinking about um, issues in a different way. And, you know, when people start their photographic journey, they, they, they get excited about making a good photo. And what we are really proud about is taking that interest in photography, that casual interest, and oh, I made a pretty picture, to um, you know, people who are taking that talent and mm -hmm. skill and doing some really interesting work that is hopefully going to plant a seed in a, in a viewer's mind that, you know, I saw this photograph and they think about an issue in a different way or they, they um, you know, ask questions and kind of dig yeah. into things that they've seen, you know, and, um, and I think, uh, just expanding that narrative around what photography is or can be is what we um, is what we are proud of, proud okay. about. Okay. And what about the biggest challenges that you face? I think you know we uh, the the industry is very dynamic. New cameras come on. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, people are shooting a lot more with their mobile phones, less with their cameras. So we've had to constantly evolve our workshops. We're very much camera focused, and then. You know, when this shift happened, um, you know, understanding that these trends are taking place and then reacting to them. Mm -hmm. So now we have a lot more uh, workshops or talks about yeah. mobile photography and mobile video. Um, I think constantly keeping um, people engaged and interested. And, you know, there are a lot of resources out there online and things like that. But, you know, being able to get people to come in through the door and uh, get them to participate, get them to, you know, purchase our products and services while still making available for them the uh, you know art uh, programming and the resources and the talks and uh, and so that's uh, been a challenge but we uh, we thrive on it. Okay, and is there a professional motto that you live by? Yes, professionally and personally, I think um, less is more. Okay. I think simplifying things, you know, whether it's what we eat or how we you know make presentations mm -hmm. or how we take photographs, less is more. I think is what okay. we try to find. And what is there that you still want to achieve that you haven't done yet? Um, so many things. I don't think I've done much yet. So uh, there's uh, a lot. I want to make more photographs. I want to make more. I want to tell more stories. I want to have more exhibitions up at Go Photo Plus. I want to, you know, um, want to help young photographers uh, share their talent with a wider audience. So much. Okay. If you could give your younger self one piece of advice, what would it be? I'm still young. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I think uh, uh, slowing down, um, you know, not rushing into things. Mm -hmm. I think that um, being deliberate um, is, you know, looking back, uh, I wish I had, uh, for many things, you know, not. I, I think instinct is good, but I think sometimes you can just slow down and let things fall into place in a certain way rather than trying to force them. Okay. And when should you compromise? I think if you're. Um, if you keep sight of your big picture or your like main main goals, um, you know everything else is details, and there's a lot of compromises to be made. And I think you know if if you have a, a goal um, or a clear vision, and compromises aren't going to affect the, the you know the the big picture, then by all means, you know make all the compromises you need to make. And what about when you should never compromise? So when it comes to your principles or your values, and I think especially we see this with creatives and photographers, um, is to never compromise your self-worth. And I think in this um, very capitalistic consumerist world, there's this notion to get more for less mm -hmm. and um, to drive prices down or to, you know, uh, especially when it comes to creatives, yeah. you know, what we provide is an important service, mm -hmm. just like a product. And, and I think we are always advising photographers to know their value and never compromise on that. And it's hard because, mm -hmm. you know, it can be, um, it can be very difficult at times, but I think if you're, you're a good photographer and you're, you know, sure of your talent, don't ever compromise on that. Okay. And are you reading a book at the moment? Mm -hmm. I, uh, so I try and kind of, 
uh, switch between a fiction and a non-fiction. So I just started the Ministry of Utmost Happiness by Arundhati Roy. Um, and the non-fiction one is um, a very serious one, but interesting because it's really well written. It's an academic book, but it's mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, you know it's the language is a lot more clear and simple. It's called Good Muslim, Bad Muslim by Ibrahim Mandani. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. And for our final question, how would you like the world to remember you? Uh, I don't know. I don't really care if they remember me. I just <laughs> I, I I hope they'd remember the things that we did and Bell mm -hmm. Photo Plus and you know putting on a platform and. Um, and the ability for photographers to share their, their work and uh, remember the stories that we tell. Okay, perfect. Mohammed, thank you so much for joining us. It's been, it's a, been pleasure. a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.